My name is Howard Skogman. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Mathematics, and I'm also the graduate program director for the Department of Mathematics. Uh, we offer a master's program in uh, pure mathematics. So our program is centered around a, a core set of courses in algebra analysis and statistics. There's 10 required courses, but then we have three courses for the core uh, requirements, and then the students take an additional seven courses, which are in any math course at the graduate level, although at least two of them need to be at the 600 level or above. Uh, we have currently one track, which is for all majors, but because there's so many electives, it allows students to customize the program towards their particular career goals. Uh, we are, though, in the process of developing a new track in statistics and actuarial mathematics, and we hope to have that up and running in the near future. Typically, it takes students three semesters to complete our master's program, although it's possible to do it in two semesters, and some students also take longer. All right, so the admission requirements for our master's program in mathematics include a 3.0 GPA in the students' overall courses, as well as a 3.0 in their mathematics courses. Uh, we also expect a B in an abstract algebra course and a B in a real analysis course. In addition, a student is expected to submit a statement of intent and two letters of recommendation along with their application. So our faculty have a wide range of research interests. We have people whose research specializes in functional analysis, some who specialize in operator theory, algebra, differential equations, stochastic differential equations, number theory, graph theory, combinatorics, and applied mathematics. All of the faculty members in our department are active in their research areas and currently publishing papers. Uh, some are able to get grants, and we even have one who has received a Distinguished Scholar Award. There's a lot of things one can do with a master's in mathematics, but typically our students go on to do things like uh, go on for a PhD, or teach at the community college level, or some other four-year schools. They also teach at the secondary level, and others work at uh, firms specializing in technology, actuarial, or finance. Currently, the program has about 30 students in it. The students often work together on homework. In addition, many of them are tutors in the Student Learning Center. Some of them, in addition, are graduate assistants in the Student Learning Center, where these graduate assistantships provide uh, a stipend in addition to a tuition scholarship for up to nine credits of coursework. But currently, our program does not require a thesis. Those students may do one if they choose to. Faculty often involve students with their research. We're also in, uh, creating an option for a student to do a thesis instead of the comprehensive exams. It's an assistantship for a student to work in the math science living learning community, which allows them to tutor a specific group of students who are interested in ma majoring in either math or science. Uh, in addition, the department offers many of its graduate courses in the late afternoon or early evening to accommodate people who are working during the day. We look forward to hearing from you and talking to you about the opportunities that our program can provide to help you reach your goals.